This is the most intense match to talk about in Haikyuu. High defensive ability as well as the agility to adapt are exactly what give Karasuno a hard time and frustrate them the most and that makes Kamamodai their worst enemy. From lots and lots of frustration to epic moments of self-realization to Hinata finally showing glimpses of being a great player, this match has it all. And well, what you're about to see next is... The match started with Kageyama and Hinata throwing it right up over the center and that's it. Hoshio may shut them down real quick with his own over the triple block spike. Trouble was just starting for Karasuno as Higurama, the master read blocker, halted any Karasuno's attempts to score and completely ignored Hinata's decoy, much to his frustration. This was just the beginning though as Hoshiyumi showed why he's a masterful player. Not just being able to perform a correct receive of a strong serve, he was a strong server as well and also demonstrated his skill at doing amazing emergency sets. And don't even talk about his skills at over the net battles as he scored an amazing spike while facing in an opposite direction. This guy was a scoring machine. The expressions on Hinata's face, well, speak for themselves. Coupled with Hoshiyumi's media skills and others' ability at blocking, Karasuno's progress was effectively halted. Karasuno's current rotation was frustratingly weak on attack and being a defense specialist team, Kamamoda was able to stump Karasuno's front row attackers, namely Tsuki and Asahi dead on their tracks. However, not all was lost for Karasuno. Tsuki made a big brain play and was successfully able to stuff Hoshiyumi. And not just that, coach Ukai also came in clutch with his 500 IQ play of countering Kamamoda's change in rotation with his own change in rotation. And this rotation came in handy real quick with Hinata now present on the court to take advantage of the gap and finally break the jam Karasuno was in. Kamamoda wasn't the only one with frustrating techniques. However, this was still not enough to beat Kamamodai. The wall was just too strong. Asahi was managing to hang in there by a thread and unfortunately for him, Kamamodai wasn't leaving any holes in the defense. Asahi had to succeed in finding ways to... Asahi was the ace of Karasuno. In the standard left wing spiker position, it's an important offensive position in a volleyball team and when the player over there is not functioning, it becomes really hard for the team to win. And unfortunately for Asahi, Karasuno was fighting a team that might as well have 3 ounces in it. Kamamodai was very effective at marking Asahi and halting his attacks. Poor chap got deflected so many times, his mental state was starting to cave in as usual and this also impacted his other plays. He would usually fall into a depression trap and let his performance suffer. This time though, it was going to be different. Daichi saw Asahi falling and smartly treated it as just another one of Asahi's tropes and denied any help. This casual treatment by Daichi made Asahi double take and he realized that giving into doubts and falling further in depression is a burden because he has teammates that are good and trustworthy. He just needed to trust himself. This was a massive realization for him and he committed to not fighting himself and unshackle himself from the belief that he has to carry the team. He focused on getting just one point. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And combined with the techniques he used to calm himself and his newfound clarity, his performance found improvement. Suddenly, a whole arsenal of attacks was in front of him and the man scored a clean one. He began seeing the glimpse of the calm and focused mental state that the great players of his generation reside in. Asahi was a changed man. The look of calm focus says it all. I just know that experiencing this not only impacted his game but also his life. I mean, did you ever see him enjoy this much? I personally felt so proud of my boy here. Asahi at last was successful in breaking that wall. However, Asahi wasn't the only one struggling with the wall. There was someone else who was fighting against his own wall. Coach Washito, the man who believed in the majesty of height, was about to find a whole new realm thanks to some surprising plays by Hinata. Facing an enemy with overwhelming ability to block, Hinata did not falter. He relied on his agility and quick thinking to smash them with information and in turn overwhelm them. Seeing this little kid scoring over towering players made Hoshiyumi and shockingly coach Washiro take a double take on this kid. 
he was breaking the walls of preconceived notions and prejudices of being short. Hinata demonstrated to both of these people that there are ways to be tall players while being short and perhaps more so to Washijo. The scene when he jumped neatly and spiked over the six footers, Washijo couldn't help but zoom back to his past realizing that he can play like that too and he celebrated Hinata. The boy he condemned earlier was now the key to show him an entirely new world. Hinata was unlocked. You see, Hinata was a man of the people. When he said that his success relies on Kageyama, he's not wrong. But it doesn't mean he's useless without him. What it means is that Hinata has the capability to use the entire team as his weapon to score. While the little giants used themselves directly to score, the great decoys used the team to score as demonstrated by Hinata right here. Higurama the unmovable was finally caught in Hinata's illusionary web and it gave enough time to Kageyama to set to Tanaka who scored a clean one. Therefore, a clean spike by Tanaka is as much a Hinata's victory as much as a Tanaka's. Hinata's real ability was to break the system. He was the danger, the antidote to the perfectly laid plans. Of course, this doesn't mean decoys are any less of the players. In fact, quite the opposite. Only the great spikers and players have the ability to to command the attention of blockers and serve as a decoy. And Hinata was one and much more. His ability to always do something different that threatens the formation of the opponent gave enough opportunity for his team to score. And boy oh boy did they take it. Hinata gave more than enough demonstrations that he was a different player than before. With his newfound and improved game sense, receiving skills, he was well on his way to being called amongst the great himself. It was going great for him in the nationals. He played a key part in Karusuno's journey so far in the tournament and one would be hyped to see how far the team went. But this was it. Hinata was done, or rather his body was. He wanted to stay but his body wouldn't allow him. He fell to his sickness and was out of the court. Of course, Karusuno couldn't win without him and they didn't. Top 8 is where they reached. Top 8 is where these boys reached. And with that, the beautiful era when we followed the high school journey of our favorite characters ended.